What's up everyone, my name is Mr. Drillicious and today we're going to do some meetings. Now of course in this time of COVID and working from home, I think one thing that is on a lot of you guys' agendas is Zoom call. We're getting so used to doing these online meetings because let's face it, it's just the safest thing to do. And even after the pandemic ends, I think a lot of people will still like the benefits of working from home maybe one or two days a week. Now I know that when you're working from home, you might not always be super inclined to dress up, put on a coat of makeup and make sure you look your very best. And let's face it, with these built-in webcams on laptops, they don't really make you look any more awake than you probably are. Now I have already made a video where I showed you how you can use a tool called FaceRig in OBS when you're streaming to Twitch or any other platform. But did you know that you could use FaceRig in basically any other tool that allows you to select a webcam? And therefore when you're doing your next Zoom meeting you could look like a wolf or perhaps a panda or even this guy. So today I'm going to show you exactly how you can use FaceRig in some of the most popular meeting tools that are being used today so you can show up in style to your next meeting. <laughs> Now, by the way, if you like my content and it's helpful to you, please consider supporting me and my content by leaving a thumbs up on the video, subscribing to the channel, and of course, smashing that bell button so you get a notification exactly when my next video goes live. Oh, and by the way, have you guys seen the new t-shirt that I'm wearing? It's part of my new merch line, and this and many other designs are now available on my shop, which you can find at shop.mrjoylicious.com. All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you how you can set FaceRig as your main webcam in some of the most popular online meeting tools. Now, for those of you who don't know it yet, FaceRig is a paid app that you can get on Steam, which allows you to transform into a 2D or 3D avatar. Now, the app is a single purchase app that you can get through Steam, and there's several avatars that are already loaded into the app. But if you want to get something more custom, there's literally hundreds of avatars that you can download for free on the Steam Workshop. Now, also, for the sake of this video, I'm going to assume that you've already bought and downloaded FaceRig and you've set up the basics inside the tool itself. If you haven't done that already, I highly suggest watching my earlier video that I made on this, which goes through the steps of setting up FaceRig and installing everything. Now, once you've done that, you can actually move on and we can set it up in some of our favorite meeting tools. All right, let's start with what I think is the most popular meeting tool that is being used today. Zoom. Setting up FaceRig as your Zoom webcam is actually remarkably simple. Now, of course, the first thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that you have FaceRig running and that you have enabled tracking. After that, open up Zoom and sign into your account. Now, go to the settings and then open the videos tab. Now, as your webcam, you want to select the FaceRig virtual webcam. Sometimes it can happen that when you've installed FaceRig, this option is not yet shown. What you need to do is you need to actually manually install the display drivers for the virtual webcam. If you want to do that, you can go to the link in my description and it shows you exactly how you should do that. Now, once you've done that, you should see your virtual avatar in the preview window. Now you can obviously select a background within FaceRig, but Zoom actually has a pretty good background removal tool. So in FaceRig, select the green screen background, and then in Zoom, we're actually gonna add a virtual background ourselves. So head to the backgrounds and filters tab and be sure to select, I have a green screen. Here you can select several built-in virtual backgrounds, like a sunny beach, outer space, or even as if you're having a meeting from the Northern Lights. Or why not set up your meeting with the Golden Gate Bridge in the background? Anything is possible. Once you've selected your background and everything looks good, just exit out of your settings and you are good to go. Next time when you have a Zoom meeting, make sure that you start FaceRig first so your webcam gets activated within FaceRig and then open up Zoom and all the settings should still be the same. Now, another popular meeting tool these days is Google Meet and basically the steps are more or less the same. Make sure you sign into your Google account and then head on over to the settings. And then in the videos tab, Again, select the FaceRig virtual camera as your webcam source. Now, while Google Meet does support virtual backgrounds, it doesn't have native support for green screens like Zoom had. So technically, yes, you can select a different background within Google Meet. However, the results will not look as good. So I highly suggest in this case, picking a background from FaceRig to get the best results. Once you've selected these settings, again, exit out of them. And next time when you have a work call, you should have your virtual avatar ready to join the meeting. Okay, moving on to Microsoft Teams. Now, basically the settings for Microsoft Teams are pretty much the same as the ones in Google Meet. Again, sign into your account and then go to your settings and in the videos tab, make sure you select the FaceRig virtual camera. Also in Microsoft Teams, there's no real background support when you use the browser-based version. So either you can use the app or again, I just suggest picking one of the backgrounds that you can find in FaceRig itself. I just showed you three tools that I think are currently being used quite a lot in these online meetings. But of course, it could be that you're using a different type of tool. For instance, you can use Skype or any of the other tools that are available right now. Now, if the tool has support to select your own webcam source, more likely than not, it's basically the same process as that we just saw. Head to your settings tab and then head to a videos tab and then go to the setting where you could select your webcam and be sure you could select the FaceRig virtual camera. If you do that, then basically you should be good to go. And there we have it. If you are done with these boring old meetings and you would like to spice up your corporate game, this is the video just for you. There's a ton of different avatars that you can choose from within FaceRig itself. Or if you want, you can go ahead on Steam Workshop and you can download literally hundreds of avatars for free to use in FaceRig. Now, one thing that you do need to keep in mind is that a lot of the avatars that are available on the Steam Workshop are actually live 2D avatars. And if you want to use any of those, you'll need to have an additional DLC package for FaceRig 
called the live 2D plugin. And this is paid DLC, which again, you will find also on the Steam page of FaceRig. But keep that in mind that certain avatars that you are looking for might not work in your version of FaceRig. I think that this is, of course, a perfect way to show your individuality and to kind of bring out a little bit more fun in these online meetings. Now, I hope this video was helpful to you. If it was, again, I'd massively appreciate your support for my channel. I'm getting closer and closer to becoming a YouTube partner, which would be an amazing milestone to get. So if you want to help me out with that, you can leave a thumbs up on this video. You can subscribe to the channel and, of course, ring that bell so you know exactly when my next video goes live. And by that, you're getting me one step closer to reach that goal. So thank you. Now, if you would like to see my real self and virtual self, Outside of YouTube, I stream on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, sometimes with my face cam, but sometimes I use a tool similar to FaceRig itself to show my virtual avatar. So if you want to see that, so feel free to drop on by my stream and say hi in chat. I'm always very happy to meet new people. For now, though, I'll let you get back to your Zoom. Thank you so much for watching. Good luck with this. Stay safe and happy meeting. A six pack. Okay, nice. Oh, can I get one of those too? Anybody want to get, uh, can I give you it? Can I get a six, can I get a six pack? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. <laughs> if you don't like the champagne, you can just say you don't have to smash it. Hey, <laughs> ow. Sorry.